fuck? What? What? Why do they always arrive after it's done? just to see him. They'll come in in droves. Droves, Keith. And there are too many of them for little Steve. He needs assistance. He needs your assistance. What's in it for you? You got a thing for him or something? <laughs> <laughs> Talk to me for me, Keith. <laughs> oh, they are gonna move? Okay. We got you. 
chip trauma. So that's a little more. Why are they moving? Will and Jonathan wouldn't just be okay with that, would they? Her powers still not work. You know that I'm gonna steal Cerebro from Dustin and call you so much you're gonna have to turn it off, right? Where is she going then? Is she going with them? No, right? You can come before or after Christmas or whatever Mrs. Byers wants, but I was thinking Christmas Day could be super fun. I like presents too. Yeah, cool, yeah. I like, I like presents too. Mike? Yeah? You talked about your, your feelings, your heart. Oh. oh, yeah, that. Man, that was so long ago. I don't really remember. What did I say exactly? I love you too. <laughs> I don't want this to be the end. I don't want this to be the end. What is that? Um, I never talked to you, did he? Can I read? Something I've been wanting to talk to you both about. I know this is a difficult conversation, but I care about you both very much. These boundaries moving forward so we can build an environment comfortable, trusted, sharing our feelings. I've been stuck in one place, in a cave, you might say. A deep, dark cave. And then I left some egos out in the woods and you came into my life. And for the first time in a long time, I started to feel happy. Making trickle-decker ego extravaganzas at sunrise, watching westerns together before we doze off. And I know you're getting older. Changing. And I guess, if I'm being really honest, that's what scares me. I don't want things to change. To try to maybe stop that change. To turn back the clock. To make things go back to how they were. And yeah. Sometimes it's painful. Sometimes it's sad. And sometimes it's surprising. Happy. So you know what? Keep on growing up, kid. Don't let me stop you. Make mistakes. Learn from them. And when life hurts you, remember the hurt. Is good. It means you're out of that cave. Oh my god. But please, for the sake of your poor old dad, keep the door open three inches. <laughs> now it's all gone and i can't believe they're actually leaving is this the end no it is what the fuck it cannot end like this oh oh
Are they feeding that monster? Is it still there? What the fuck? get another season this can't be the last season right also those russians are fucking crazy why do they want to keep these things in the world that that only want to destroy the world what the fuck i am not okay i'm so not okay okay there is gonna be a season four but has not been officially renewed by netflix but it is confirmed and it starts filming in october October. Well, the reason why I first thought there wasn't going to be a season 4 was because the actor who played Billy actually said goodbye. But of course that was because he was gonna die, because he died. And I thought he said goodbye because the show was over. And I was already like, are they going to, to end the show like this after... After only 3 seasons, it's so popular and you can tell so many stories with it. Even though I honestly think that they're like... Every time at the end they close the gate, they stop the monsters and they think they're safe, they can actually go live their life. And then actually the same thing happens again, one of those monsters returns or one of them is still there. And yeah, I, I honestly don't really know what to think about it. It's just like we want to make another season, so just the same thing happens again. But you know, this ending, I'm not okay with this ending. So I'm glad there's gonna be another season. The last season, if it would have just ended with, with the snowball and the mind flayer wouldn't have still been there. I mean, if it would have just ended with that ball, it could have had just a happy ending. Even though only two seasons for a show like Stranger Things, that wouldn't have been enough. We all know that, of course. But what I'm trying to say is they're, they're making this story maybe a bit too long. I mean, the story with the, the Demogorgon and the mind flayer. But the stories of the characters themselves they aren't over so it's more like i honestly more watch stranger things for the characters and for their relations and just the humor in it and just everything together and the vibe but you know the the storyline with the monsters and the and the, the upside down sometimes i think it just goes a bit too far honestly and i'm not trying to criticize the show because the show is amazing but they just keep having the same problems and it looks like they're just never going to solve it that, that's kind of how I see it right now. Also, Hopper can be dead? H how the fuck can Hopper be dead? That, that's not possible. I, I honestly don't believe he's dead. He can be dead. Also because in the end that Russian said, not the American. So maybe they have Hopper there. I, I have an idea they, they have Hopper there. I, I really think that. I mean, this show without Hopper, what, what is that? That's not Stranger Things. Especially when someone dies and you don't actually see them dying. Then most of the time they're not actually dead. Like we saw those other men like exploding or what the hell that was. Well, the, the electricity beat them. But we didn't see that happening to Hopper. I, I don't think he's dead. He can't be dead. And if he is, I'm really sad. Rest in peace. But um, I just don't think he's dead. And um, this ending, this ending was just fucked up. Like it wasn't happy at all. It wasn't... It was just a very sad ending. And it's not like I'm complaining about that. I mean, a show doesn't always have to end like a fairy tale. Also not like Game of Thrones, but um, but not. it doesn't have to end like a fairy tale, you know? It's, it's okay if it ends fucked up, but then I want another season, but we're probably getting that, so I'm, I'm not complaining here. Um, and of course, Will and his family will come back, so... I mean, it can't end like this. If there wasn't gonna be another season, I would be so pissed. I mean, it's okay for a show to not have a Disney ending, but it's not okay for a show to have an ending like this. So yeah, I mean, with everyone split up, the, the group of friends who have been together for three seasons, uh, Mike and Eleven who had this chemistry since season one, it just can't end like that, let's be real. So yeah, I don't know what, what I can say about this. Besides that, it was a really, emotional roller coaster actually it was a very good season finale i gotta say that though and in the beginning i was like 
I'm afraid we're only going to see a fight now and not much of the characters themselves, but no, that wasn't really true. We saw a lot of character development and the, the, the part with Dustin and Susie that just brightened the entire episode. Like that was something I, I kind of needed at that moment, honestly. And it was so funny and so cool, but yeah. <laughs> oh, that's the thing I, I also knew. I knew that Susie was real because on YouTube I saw a video and it said um, Dustin's and Susie's story or something like that and yet then you saw a picture of Susie but honestly not a very big spoiler if you ask me so I don't know how to feel right now oh this is such a strange week yesterday I watched the Westworld finale I was al already so shook about that and actually while I started watching that I was still thinking about the Westworld finale because that just got me so shocked and and now another season finale. I don't think my heart can take this, honestly. <laughs> I think I've said mostly everything. I mean, I can go into a deep detail about Hopper's dad and everything he's done. But if I don't believe he's actually dead, why should I do that? I just think Mike and Al will get together eventually. And, and everything will be alright. You, you know, this is a show and it has like bad things. And, and of course, fucked up things happen to them. But this is the kind of show that has a happy ending, I think. It's just that, yeah, it's just that kind of show, you know? It just has to have a happy ending. I mean, like with Game of Thrones, everyone expected that it would have a fucked up ending. And I expected that Danny would die. Okay, if, if you haven't watched Game of Thrones yet. I mean, who hasn't watched Game of Thrones yet? I'll, I'll just put a spoiler warning b before this so you can't complain. But I expected she would die. And I, I didn't expect a good ending. I mean, what we got now, that, that was just, yeah, all kinds of trash but um i just never expected a very happy end i expected a good end though like a good end as in good writing we didn't even get that um but this is just the type of show that that needs a happy ending that that just needs to yeah it just doesn't feel right if this has an ending like this you know um so with that said i'm just very excited for season four i'm also excited to see more of certain characters uh, i really love the storyline with with um, Steve and Robin because I think they're both very interesting characters. Uh, I always liked Steve even though in season one he was such an asshole and honestly, no honestly I didn't always like Steve. I hated him in season one because I just really loved Jonathan and they were like enemies in season one and he was being really mean to him so then I didn't really like Steve. But from season two I just really loved Steve and I really like his character especially that now that he's not in high school anymore and that he's more of more becoming his own person instead of being the person other people want to see. I think that's also really nice character development. And also um, his storyline with Robin. These two are just amazing together and just them being the best of friends. Suddenly that's just, that's so, I, I, I love it. That's so nice. And I, I would really, I'd give my life to see scenes of them working together again because those scenes are just gold, you know? Yeah, that are just things I need in my life. Uh, also, um, Max. I, I think Max is a really interesting character. You know, most characters are actually very interesting, but we just know the most from like Will, Mike, Lucas and Dustin because we, we've been following them since season one. And Al, of course. And then there are those side characters I, I always wanted to know more about. And Max and Billy are were characters these kind, which I meant. And now Billy's dead and I'm fucking sad about that because I really think Billy was a very interesting character and not just because he's handsome. I just really like to see, yeah. I mean, he's like this mean character, but it has to come from somewhere. Of course, it's his abusive dad. I would just have loved to find more out about that. There's the fucking flies on my camera. There's the fucking flies on my camera. He's been annoying me for, for two fucking episodes now okay but um i just basically just want to find more out about about certain characters and i hope we will get a chance for that in the new season and i think we will um except for billy because he's dead now and ugh, that's fucked up i really like this character but so i talked a very long time but i just keep talking and i i lose track of time and Fuck off. Yeah, it's a season finale and I talk long about season finales because it's basically the end and after this you can't you can't just like after this think oh I wanted to say that and then just say it at the next episode because it's the end and then I just want to make sure that I've said everything. And I also want to say something about this season. I really love this season. I heard people were disappointed about it too, but always when people are super disappointed by something and I don't really 
I can't really see what is there to be disappointing about. Then I'm just like, do people always need to complain about something? Not just because of my opinion and then I'm like, everyone needs to think the same as me. But it's more like, you know, this is with kind of everything these days. If there's a good thing and then there comes a new thing out and it's not exactly like the first thing, then people are just going to complain. Every remake that's been made, every new part that they made, people always have to criticize it. Of course, if you if you didn't like the season, that's totally your own opinion and I don't, don't care, honestly. Like, you're allowed to have your own opinion. But I just really enjoyed the season. Apart from what I already said that Sometimes the thing with the, the, the upside down and everything and the monsters go a bit too far like that's all I'm, I'm Maybe kind of complaining about I really need to stop recording because this video is gonna be more than 30 minutes and This fucking fly after this I'm gonna fucking kill it You know I already put this thing here because I know he was gonna bother me again But when I, I got it he was sleeping or something and I couldn't find him anymore But now he's here and if he's here I'm gonna kill it on camera and you'll see it you know and then I won't call the, call this video Stranger Things finale reaction. I'll call it Watch Larissa Kill a Fly, and then it will get way more views than than it than it does now. So come here, fucker. Okay. Nah, he saw me with this thing. He's not gonna appear now. <gasps> there he is. And he's gone again. <laughs> I need to stop this video. I'm going to talk nonsense. It's 4 a.m. and I'm crying over a show. Um, that's my daily life. So I don't know why why I I wanted to say that was crazy i mean i do that daily i've said enough it's not even about stranger things anymore i'm just complaining about a fly um so let me know what you thought about um this this episode this season uh let me know what you think the new season will bring and yeah just let me know i i like to hear you guys opinions and even though i don't always respond to comments because sometimes i'm depressed and i don't read comments because Sometimes comments make me more depressed because some people are just rude or talk to me like I'm some child and they know everything better and then I'm just like nope I'm not up for that now uh, or sometimes there are just a lot of comments and I'm like I can't respond to everything you know but I, I mostly read them all so uh, just let me know what you thought of this yeah I think I made clear what I thought of it in 20 fucking minutes so did you like this reaction then please leave a like subscribe let me know if you cried and then that was it Bye.